I have four days to find the most beautiful ponds, gardens and koi collections. The owner of this breathtaking koi pond could not enjoy it because it was full of algae. In this video, you will see how they got rid of the algae in the pond. What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode on the channel. I am in Dubai, the Middle East, and I am on a very unique location. So if you're new on the channel, my name is Ivo, I'm the Koi Partner, and in my videos we do everything with koi fish. We visit the most incredible ponds and gardens all around the world. And today, I'm in Dubai. Hey guys, look at this beautiful, beautiful koi pond. Morning Evo and uh, welcome to this absolutely stunning pond in Dubai. I'm Tony Pittam from Koi Water Barn in the UK and Dubai. And this is one of our creations here in, in Dubai. This pond is around 80,000 litres. This was actually a refurbishment job that we were called in to do. The filtration and the pond design wasn't up to, to standard and uh, the water was very green, dirty and the customers started losing fish. As an emergency we come in we put a plan forward to the, the client and uh, they pressed the button and off we went. So uh, let's go and have a look. So this, uh, this pond has so many awesome features. We've got a very high waterfall here, which uh, is a great feature. We have planters in the pond uh, as requested by the client. We have lights, we have aeration in here. Uh, originally we didn't have any bottom drains and uh, when building in the design of the pond, uh, bottom drains, or actually what we've put in here, is a, uh, a gully. So we have seven 110mm uh, pipes going through to a Awazi XL drum filter into an Awazi XL pond pad biological filter with Awazi pumps, UVs going through two Aqua 40 36 inch sand, uh, bead filters uh, and then back to the pond. And the water clarity here is absolutely exceptional. Uh, the client bought these fish at a very small size and has grown them on uh, and we're still working on uh, increasing the quality of the collection here. There's lights in the pond, we have a waterfalls here, we have a beautiful water feature there by a, by a stunning thousand year old olive tree. So let's go and have a look at the filtration we put in. The pond was in poor condition when Tony and his team were called in. The original design of the pond was not good enough and caused problems. After the renovation of the filter, the fish can live healthily again and the owner can enjoy the fish. So this is real top of the range filtration setup. This is actually a filtration room which spans the whole of this wooden decking here. And underneath, uh, we had our challenges here. As you can see, the concrete at the top was about 45 centimeters deep. So we had to pour drill through. The Oasi filters are gravity fed. So the water level in the filters has to be the same as the water level in the pond. We can't pump fed from ponds like this into uh, sand filters, which are a long way away. The filtration needs to be right next door to the pond. So the drains come into this drum filter here, the XL. Uh, there's ozone on here, big UVs. We've got skimmers either side, which as you can see, there's no detritus or nothing on top of, of, of the pond here, which gives a great, great, great finish. Lots of challenges here in our design. Uh, but one of the most important things when having a beautiful koi pond is to put the right filtration in with the right design. You have to have the right pipe work going through to the filters to get the flows. We're actually turning this one over about once every hour. So there's about 80,000 liters going through the filters, back to the pond, through two chillers here, because as you can see, this is pretty open here with no shading. So in the summer, water temperatures can get up to around 36 degrees. Chillers, we keep it down to a, uh, a nice 28 degrees. Yeah, let's have a little look at the fish. Yeah, in here, the client bought mainly small, small tosai and grew them on. There's koi here from Sakai, from Nagami, uh, from Mamataro. And I gifted the client uh, this rather large tancho here, which is her favorite fish of the pond. The client tends to sit up here. Our client wishes to remain anonymous. They will sit here and enjoy the koi and feed the koi from this feeding spot here. So uh, a beautiful pond here. We're very lucky in Dubai that the water quality is actually desalinated. So there's very high levels of minerals and vitamins in the water. 
Uh, the clarity of this pond is exceptional and the fish tend to grow extremely quickly. We can feed three, four, five times a day here, especially with the Oasi system that cleans the filter, uh, cleans the pond uh, accurately. So let's, uh, let's feed some of these babies, get them over here. Um, here we have um, one of the um, water features behind a beautiful olive tree. Oh here. wow. Uh, this goes into the pond and we have these stepping stones over some of the bottom drains and lights in the pond. Uh, We've actually, this was very tricky putting the lights in here into a very confined space. Uh, actually, uh, the pipe work in here is a work of art. We had a very limited space and our CAD drawings, uh, which Jack Bunker uh, was responsible for, was a work of art. It really was. It's like spaghetti junction in there, but uh, with the right flow rates and as less elbows as possible to get beneficial um, flow rates out of the pumps. Uh, here we have some uh, uh, water features. These light up uh, in the evening. And uh, we're walking around now to the beautiful waterfall. A real feature of this pond is this five and a half meter waterfall, which you can imagine the pumps necessary to pump up that, that head. Uh, we have a controllable valve on this. So if the client has guests around and she wants a, a slightly uh, lesser effect, she can turn it down quite easily. Uh, but yeah, a real, a real beautiful feature of this pond. One of the most important factors in a koi pond is your aeration. In here we have eight 120 litre a minute Oasi uh, Aqua Oxy 7500 pumps. There's about 10 air stones and uh, because the temperatures here get up over 30 degrees, uh, we have to get as much oxygen into the water. So whether you're at 20 degrees, 15 degrees, 25 degrees, do your dissolved oxygen content readings, do your tests, make sure you've got enough oxygen in the pond. A uh, big talking point in a lot of ponds is plants in the pond. Uh, now this particular client was very insistent that she wanted plants in the pond. Previously she had some big reeds which were overgrown and were actually causing a few problems. Uh, so we built these planters here, uh, which the fish can go in and out, but we've made, we've designed them especially so there's no damage uh, can, can, can occur. Uh, and these are small, so these actually will add ox oxygen back into the pond uh, and they won't grow and get too over the top. Uh, personally, I prefer to not have plants in the pond and rather to put trees or on islands like this, which is a great feature, or to surround the pond with beautiful olive trees or bonsai or ficus or some of the olive pond ponds, uh, which are absolutely beautiful. I'd like to introduce everybody here to Gemwell. Uh, this is Gemwell from Koi Water Barn Dubai. Yes, sir. Uh, Gem looks after all our maintenances uh, and does the backwashing and the filter cleaning and the health of the koi and the moving of the koi. He's a real koi professional. So what would you like to tell us about this particular system here? Um, for me, I can say really great type of filtration system. Overall, also less uh, maintenance, although you have to look after for the filtration system, full time check up, everything, so must be working well, so that we can maintain all the um, water quality, so that there is uh, any problems according for the fish, and exceptionally, so for the filtration, it is working really, really good, based on my experience. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, first of all, leave a comment and also put on a thumb. Thank you so much, Tony, for showing me this. Absolute pleasure, Eva. You're welcome anytime. Amazing project. We are actually going to his new shop. You will see that in the next episode. For now, click on this video, watch that one, and um, see you at the next.